Well, 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 classy people, how y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I am your speed king. It is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. We're out at Keeneland, opening weekend at Keeneland, and we're here to do the Thoroughbred Club of America Stakes Race. That's right. It's a grade two. Six furlongs for filling your mares, three-year-olds and up, six panels, 250 grand. Very, very nice. Small field of six, but very talented. Before we dial in, let's do us a big, big favor. As always, folks, can you please help us by subscribing to our channel, supporting us, donate us, ring the bell, like us, and most of all, comment. That's my favorite part, to hear from you. Well, in this here thoroughbred club race, you know, grade two, six furlong sprint for fillies and mares. The number one horse is Frank Rockett. Don't have to tell you much about Frank Rockett, trained by the classy, classy Billy Mott. Frank Rockett has 16 starts, 8 wins, 5 seconds, and 2 thirds. That's pretty nice. That's 15 times in the money from 16 starts. This horse doesn't know how to do anything but show up each and every time and put in her excellent, excellent bid, as she always do. Eight of the races that she's one of the 16, four-year-old by Into Mischief, like I said, trained by Billy Mott. And Mr. Alvarado is in the horns. I mean, how can you knock this horse? You can't. Frank Rockett is on the rail, uh, has enough speed to be sitting in the catbird seat, should be sitting second or third, no problem, down the backstretch. Of course, this horse is a win probability of about 26%. That's very, very high, five to two on the morning line can't knock that. I mean, you got everything going your way. The horse wins 50% of his race. Got the Hall of Famer. My God, Billy Ma. You can't go wrong here. You can't. Frank Rockett is a serious win contender in this spin spot. Club car. Well, club car. 21 starts, 5 wins, 7 seconds, 5 thirds. That's right. Hey, Listen, Cal Brook is our trainer of record. This horse is by Malibu Moon. This mare, five years old. Hey, listen, speed figures are a little light. I mean, you know, they, they actually are about the same as Frank Rockett's. I mean, this is a very, very nice uh, mare in our own right. Um, I don't particularly like her in this spot here, a uh, club card. I think she might be a little bit overmatched. And she's it's very great value at 10 to 1. Uh, Tyler Gaffion is in the arms, and um, we're going to look elsewhere. We're going to throw the number two horse off the ticket. Let me see if I don't mess up the number three horse's name. In the midst of biz, in the midst of biz, very, very nice uh, mare, five years old, 15 starts, seven wins. That's almost 50%, folks. Hey, that's pretty close for me. Seven wins of 15 starts, two seconds, and one third. You can't knock her on that at all. This horse is by Fed Biz. Uh, speed figures are a little, little light on this horse, but I tell you what, you know what I like about this horse? This horse is coming off the synthetic, and I think this is a long speed in the race. This horse is 10 to 1 on the morning line, and I'm thinking, hold on a minute, and I say, hold on, wait a minute, Speed King, you're not looking to bet against your boy, Billy Mock from the rail, Frank Rockette with this number three horse in the midst of biz. I don't know. I mean, 10 to 1 seems awfully, awfully attractive to your speed king. And you know speed is king. I like this horse, you know. This horse is five fed biz, won almost 50% of her races from 15 starts, two seconds and one third. Don't get mad at me. I mean, anybody that wins almost 50% of their races, and this horse does have a 21% win probability according to my database over here. Hey, listen. I love me some Billy Mott. You know, Frank Rockett's on the rail. is 5-2. to two. I, I'll use him under there. But I like this here in the midst of biz at 10-1. to one, And he's going to be on the front. And it's six panels. I like this horse. I don't know what y'all talking about, classy people. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Maybe your speed kingdom went off the edge here. You know, I ain't totally lost my mind, but I like the three in the midst of biz. You tell me why this horse, you know, can't can't run here. You tell me why this horse can't run here. You know, I see speed, I go ballistic. Speed figures are in line. They're not horrible. I got one three back that the speed figure is tremendous in last year's TCA, Thoroughbred Club of America State. This horse won this race. So I don't know what y'all talking about here at Kingland back in October 3rd. This is your last year's winner 
of this race. How can this horse be 10 to 1 on the line? In the midst of biz. Have I lost my mind? Am I? Let me get my different glasses. Let me get a different pair of glasses. Maybe it's me. Maybe I need to put on these glasses. Nope. I'm right. That's what I'm seeing. Two pair of glasses reveal that the number three horse is the engine and the speed king likes this horse a bunch. How can this horse won this race last year? I like this horse in the midst of biz. How can this horse be 10 to 1 on the morning line? Who's making the morning line? I like the number three. You can tell that already, right? I even changed my glasses. We like the horse. The number four horse, right? Well, here you go. Uh, Estralo Teliasso. Estralo Teliasso. The number four horse. 5 to 2 on the morning line. There's two 5 to 2 horses. This is Estalo Teliasso horse and the number one, Frank Rockets. They're both 5 to 2 on the morning line. And Teliasso is 16 starts, 3 wins. Don't like that. 9 seconds. This horse, the number four, likes to finish second. Speed figures are okay on this horse. I don't particularly like that he always runs second. I'm going to throw the four horse out. I'm throwing the four horse out at 5 to 2. Out. The number five horse, Miss Mu uh, Mosaic. Miss Mosaic is by Varazano. 14 starts, two wins. Five seconds. Here's another horse, Bridemaid. Always like to finish second, just like this Estelliolo horse, the number four horse. The number five horse likes to finish second. 14 starts, two wins, five seconds. Okay. Cal Brook is our trainer of record. Mr. Hernandez is in the arms. This horse has beat, been beaten by the bottom horse twice in a row, right? Uh, Bell's the one, right? She's been beaten uh, in the horrible mistakes by Bell's the one handily. And in the race before that, overnight stake rate, beat by Bell's the one. I don't like the five. Throw the horse out. Miss Mosaic, number out. So four and five is out. And the number six horse. Well, well, well. Here we go again with this Bell's the one. I'm tired of looking at the horse. You can't knock her. You can't knock her. I'm not knocking Bell's the one. I'm not. This is Peasant's horse. I'm not knocking him. And it's got Corey Landry. And I told you once, I'll tell you again. If you're in Kentucky and you're just walking around, kicking stones, minding your business, and you go over to the track and you're in Kentucky... Find out where Corey Landry is because nobody knows those circuits better than him. The only one I ever known known in any better is Robbie Alvarado and Mr. Pat Day, who is the legend. But Bell's the one on the bottom, has Corey Landry. Peasin is up. Corey always ride for him. Here's Bell's record. 20 starts. 9 wins. That's close enough to that for government work. That's almost 50%. Big sample. 20 starts, you win nine of them? Hey, man, look at her. You know, and Bell's the one. She may be very well be the one. This mare is good. Very, very good. For a cool 1.19 million she's earned. So can't nobody knock Bell's the one. She's 7 to 5 on the morning line. Got Corey Lannery up. Grade 2 race. Man, I know Corey's going to be hustling on this horse. This horse's speed figure is very well uh, within the body of this race, but not the best in this race. You know, now, I don't particularly like Bell the One in here. Now, I don't know, I can't say that with a straight face, but speed figure-wise, it's okay, too bad. She come running in the horrible mistakes. She nailed the uh, Lake Avenue on the money. I don't got a problem, that's Corey doing his work. Right at Saratoga, he actually went up to Saratoga and won the horrible mistakes. Came back September 18th at Churchill, ran second. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, the speed figures are okay. I mean, obviously, you can't knock Bells to one, you can't not like her. She won nine of 20 starts, and she, she's sporting some money in the pocket 1.1 million dollars. This is a nice, this is a nice mare, five years old. I know they're looking to get in the Breeders' Cup. I would love to see Corey in the Breeders' Cup. I'm going to look away from Bell's the one here. So there is your six starters in this race. The Thoroughbred Club of America. 
Six panels, 250,000, a field of six. Bell to one is obviously a seven to five favorite. We threw the four and the five out. The Estalo Talianzo horse and Miss Mosaic. We threw the four and five out. We ain't crazy about club card, the number, the number two horse. So we threw the two, four, five out. That leaves the one, three, six. That's all it leaves. A lot of times when you handicap these races, it's not so much who you like, it's about who you don't like. And we hate the two, four, five in this race. So that only leaves the one, three, and six. And of course, Frank Rockett is on the rail. And of course, Bell's the one's on the bottom. And your Speed King's going to lean directly in the middle to last year's winner of the Thoroughbred Club American at 10 to 1. When I know it's only a three-horse race, the two, four, and five, I hate them. I'm certain of that. And you're going to tell me the number three horse is uh, in the Mr. Biz win this race last year. And I'm, that's right, on the 3rd of October, speed figure was okay, went almost gate to wire. I like this horse. Same rider up, right? Well, no, Mark, Matt Garcia is up. Got a different rider. Horse comes back, makes her uh, five-year-old debut in an allowance race, went gate to wire, gave him 102 days off, went to the synthetic up there at PID, that's right, and ran fourth. Speed figure's okay, but it was synthetic. You know. Now, do she have to beat Frank Rockett? Absolutely. I mean, what do you want to say? Frank Rockett's got 16 starts and 8 of them wins. That's 50%. I'm not telling you nothing. We're not uncovering anything special. Of course Frank Rockett's a possible winner here with a 28% win probability. And Bell's the one got a 30% win probability with 50% wins. Nine wins from 20 starts. Of course the one and the six are the horses to beat in this race. But you tell me why the number three horse is 10 to 1 on the morning line having won this race last year. I think, and the speed figures on the back, and she's by a mare who's by a street cry. You tell I have no idea why the three horse is 10 to 1 here. I'm getting all aggro, I'm getting all worked up here. So there it is, folks. As always, down in the disclaimer, you will read it in the description. Our disclaimer. You say it. The Speed King think it's only a three-horse race to one, three, and six. Your Speed King's going to lean to the value and the speed. That's right, the number three horse. Why not? I mean, in the Mr. Biz, won this race last year. To me, it's the clear engine in this race. We're only going six furlongs. The horse is 10 to 1. Sounds right to me. It sure does, DJ Boogie. We like the number three horse here. And we love the price. Speed figures are in line with Frank's Rockette. I don't know. I like Frank. You know that's my boy, Billy. At 5-2. to two. And Bell's the one on the outside with my, my rider up, Corey Lannery, at 10-1, to one, who is the likely winner in this race, by the way. Bell's the one, obviously, is the likely winner in this race. You know, she comes back from mid-pack or downtown. But the three horse may be long, 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 long gone. Am I making a case for the three? I like the three horse in the midst of biz. Over the one, six. There it is, folks. As always, your speed king is fired up in the thoroughbred club of America stakes. As always, let's get the three horse to the front. Won the race last year, 10 to 1. That is a juicy price. 10 to 1. Speed figures are in line with Rockhead. I know it's my boy, Billy. What? I changed my glasses? I thought I was misreading something. Having a bunch of fun, folks. I have no idea why I don't have any jazz going on in the background. But there it is. In the midst of biz, we like the number three horse. We understand. We know Bell's the one is on the outside. is the likely winner. She's 75. We understand that my classy, classy Hall of Fame trainer, Billy Mock, who trained Country House, is on the rail. With Frank Rockett at five to two, we're not we 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 understand that, but we also understand that speed is king, and at ten to one, I'll take my chances. For every one dollar I bet, I get ten. I don't gotta bet a lot, and I don't have to get hurt. 
I like the three horse. Y'all say what you like. There it is, your speed king is fired up on a Friday. There you go, he's having fun. He's like, wow, what's going on in here? Your speed king is in love with the speed here. In the midst of bids, if the people go low on you, you do one thing, you go high. Remember to have some fun this weekend, y'all. Work and play hard. Speed king, I'm out, y'all. In the midst of bids, 10 to 1. We understand the one in six is there. We'll use them underneath.